Today we are going to talk about the basics of ball valves. I have a few varieties of ball valves here. We're going to talk about what they do and how they work. A ball valve uses a ball like this to control the flow of gases or liquids. And that is why we call it a ball valve. Here's a ball from a valve. Right now I want to talk about how to turn a ball valve on and off. That's one of the most basic features of a valve is you turn it on and off. Think about a valve as a water faucet. You use a water faucet every day and all it does is control the flow and turns your water on or off. Same thing with a ball valve. It is a device that controls flow, turns it on or off and can regulate the amount of flow going through a certain pipe. So we're going to start by talking about how to shut off a ball valve. A valve is in the open position when the handle is in line with the valve body. So here we have a handle in line with the valve body. And as you can see, flow can go through this valve. As I turn the valve 90 degrees, you see the flow is stopped. No longer can flow come through this valve body. And visually you can tell that it's closed because the handle is perpendicular to the valve body. To reopen, simply slide the valve back in line with the valve body and it opens the flow. This is true for all ball valves. Ball valves can come with an optional locking handle. Here's an example of a ball valve with a locking handle. The valve right now is locked in the open position. I pull up on the locking mechanism, close the valve, and it locks back in place in the closed position. This is important during applications where someone might inadvertently hit the valve and knock it open or closed when you do not need it open or closed, or when you have livestock or cattle that could come by an outdoor application and inadvertently knock it open or closed. So if that's something you need, it is available in most ball valve formats. Let's look at an example of how a ball valve works up close. Here I've got in my hand a one piece ball valve. And as you can see the ball and the seats, the stem and the handle. So this ball valve is in the open position. As you can see flow can come through. Since we have a cutout, we're gonna see what the ball actually does. As I open this, the ball turns. It is now sealed against the seats on the side and flow is unable to go through this valve. I'll now reopen this valve. As you can see, it opens to flow. Now I wanna talk about the difference between a full port and reduced port ball valve. This is an example of a full port ball valve. The pipe size, once screwed into this valve, is equal to the inside interior of this valve. In a reduced port ball valve, the pipe size is reduced when it comes into the ball valve, as you can see here. I'm going to show you a comparison. We've got a full port in stainless and a reduced port in carbon. These are both one and a half inch valves, and as you can see, there is a reduction in the amount of flow that can flow through the carbon valve versus the stainless valve. Now let's talk about why a reduced port ball valve versus a full port ball valve. The reduced port here is more economical to make and I'll show you why versus this full port. <clears throat> in a reduced port ball valve, a ball is simply inserted into the valve during manufacturing and then sandwiched in between the seats. So the ball must be smaller than the opening. Once the seats are installed, it constricts the flow, but it's very easy to manufacture out of one piece of bar stock. Here's an example of a full port two piece ball valve. The body comes in two pieces. During manufacturing, to be able to make a ball valve with a full port, the ball is simply inserted into the valve, tied into the stem here, 
And the second piece is a symbol. As you can see, you have full flow by this manufacturing technique. There's a variety of options that are available in ball valves. And today we're going to talk about one of those, which is a one piece, two piece, or three piece ball valve. We talked about the reduced port, which always comes in a one piece ball valve because of its design. So here's an example of a one piece ball valve. The body is simply made out of one piece of bar stock material. Here's an example of a two-piece ball valve. The body is made out of two pieces. As I showed you in the previous example, the second piece simply allows us to insert a full ball into the bore and assemble the two pieces together. An upgraded option that you will see on two-piece ball valves is a seal weld. This valve here contains a seal weld, which welds the two pieces together, allowing them to not separate when they're installed or disassembled from a pipe. Finally, we have a three-piece ball valve. This ball valve comes in a body and two ends here. This valve can be taken apart, all three pieces, and assembled. It comes in a full port design, and these are used a lot of times when a valve needs to be repaired or in an environment where they need to be cleaned, such as food processing. So this valve can be taken apart and cleaned and purified. So let's review the very basic options in ball valves. We talked about full port versus reduced port. These are two options that you can select when you go buy a ball valve. We talked about locking handles and the importance of a locking handle that can be locked open or locked in the closed position. We talked about design, one piece being the most economical, two piece being full port, which allows full flow and the advantages of three piece. No matter what your application is, there's a ball valve designed to handle the pressure, the temperature, the media, and the capability of your ball valve can be decided by what options you choose. Superstar. <laughs> Top performing. And if you need more information about Mako Products Ball Valves, you can like us here. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video today on the basics of ball valves. If you would like more information on our top performing Mako ball valves, you can go to our website listed here. If you would like to see another video, please click here. Or if you would like to subscribe to our channel, which we would love, please click here. Thanks for watching and have a great day.